Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 6 through 10. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 6. Based on the following code that is designed to deploy four identical application servers, which technology is being used? The answer is D. Terraform. Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code software tool that enables users to define and provision cloud-based resources using a declarative configuration language. A Terraform script starts with a Terraform block, which outlines the configuration settings. Next, the provider block configures the specified provider, in this case, AWS. Then, there is the resource block, which is used to define components of your infrastructure. Question 7. When creating a shell script, which of the following would be the correct way to write a conditional if statement designed to identify if a specific file exists in the system? The answer is A. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. If is a shell construct that allows you to execute a command or a series of commands only if a certain condition is met. Inside the square brackets is where the condition is placed. In this case, if a file, designated by the dash f, matches a specific file name, the file name will be stored using the file name variable, which is preceded by a dollar sign. The square brackets must then be followed by a semicolon and the word then in order to complete the if statement. If any of these elements are missing, the if statement will not execute correctly or at all. Question 8. A system administrator would like to store and manage user and group information across multiple Linux systems in a central repository. Which technology would best handle this task? The answer is A. LDAP. LDAP, or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, provides a standardized and efficient way to access and manage directory information. Additionally, LDAP directories serve as a centralized location where user and group data can be stored and organized. By implementing LDAP, system administrators can ensure consistency and centralization of user and group management, simplifying tasks such as user authentication, authorization, and access control across the entire infrastructure. Question 9. In troubleshooting a malfunctioning application within a container on Linux, which command enables the administrator to access the running container and inspect its stored logs? The answer is B. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. First up, Podman is a containerization tool that is used to manage container environments. The podman exec command allows a Linux administrator to enter a running container and perform operations inside the container. The dash ti options will allow the administrator to run commands interactively within the container. As for my app, it is the name or ID of the container we will be interacting with. Lastly, forward slash bin forward slash sh will specify the shell that will be used to execute commands. With the shell open within the container, the administrator can now proceed to troubleshoot the malfunctioning application. Question 10. Which of the following commands would copy the partition forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 to forward slash dev forward slash sdc1? The answer is C. The dd command is a tool used for copying data from one location to another. In this scenario, the administrator aims to clone the partition forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 to forward slash dev forward slash sdc1. To achieve this, the following command should be executed. dd if equals forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 of equals forward slash dev forward slash sdc1. Here, the if option denotes the input file, and the of option specifies the output file. By running this command, the data from forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 will be read and copied to forward slash dev forward slash sdc1. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.